Hey guys, Tom Zhang here. Uh, today I just wanted to make a quick, short, and uh, useful video on how to uh, time management using iPad, iPhone, iPod, uh, or any other types of iOS devices. Uh, the way I do it is I use this application called Awesome Notes. You can find it in the App Store. And let's go over here to the search bar. Awesome Notes. And Awesome Note has two versions, one's for the iPad and the other one's for iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, since I'm on an iPad, I go ahead and click this button. Now I'm not sure how much it is now, but I think I bought it when it was on sale for like 99 cents. But um, it's totally worth, uh, you know, uh, the price. Um, I would even pay $5.99 or upwards to $6.99 for it. I use it on a daily basis, uh, some, sometimes twice or three times a day. It keeps me, uh, keeps me track of you know everything I'm supposed to do and everything I've been doing and everything that I was supposed to do that has been completed. And let me show you the actual application itself. And one thing to note here, it has this uh, little tag that uh, shows you how many uh, tasks I was supposed to do today uh, or tasks that I'm supposed to do today plus tasks that has been overdue. And it has a really nice interface, um, especially for the iPad. Uh, you know, this is in the uh, landscape mode. I can turn it over um, to portrait and uh, it still maintains a lot of its uh, functionalities. Um, so you can make all sorts of folders here and uh, I like to use the to-do folder and uh, what you do is once you're in here you click the plus button and then you could just do something uh, type in you know whatever you need to do and you can set the priority by stars um, five being the most important and zero being the least um, and one thing this application can do is you can click this check button here and you can actually set a due date. You click After you click the check button, click the due date, it pops out, um, you know, this thing and then you can pick, you know, what day is it supposed to do. And you can also repeat this event so if it's like a class or pay bills every month you can always click this button and you can choose daily weekly monthly or yearly um, and and you can also set the alarm you can set it on time 15 minutes before an hour before days before um, I always like to keep track of certain things using this uh, application such as paying bills um, and now coming down to um, this feature right here you see this little recycle um, icon it's actually for syncing to your um, Google documents um, this application allows you to sync to two services. One is Google Documents and the other is Evernote. I've never tried Evernote before so I'm not sure what that um, is like but I always 
back it up in my Google Documents. That way, if I you know transfer, uh, if I get a new iPad or transfer my stuff, I can easily do that. And also, you can like note transfer between two devices using Bluetooth technology. Never tried that before, but I'm sure it's useful sometimes. And the other thing that's good is you can pass code lock it. So, you know, if you don't want anyone to look at it without permission, you can set that. And, uh, and over here you can search for nodes. Um, or you can change the views. You can sort things differently. But yeah, so this is how I keep track of things I'm supposed to do, uh, time management, uh, using this cool little app called Awesome Notes um, for iPad. It's also available for iPhone, iPod Touch, so um, I hope this video has been proven to be quite useful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't, subscribe anyways. I sort of do need um, subscribers and views. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.